art is a total emotional roller coaster. In the beginning, you love it, and then it keeps moving, and you have no control, and you hate it, and then you like it again, and then you hate it. It's like a whole roller coaster. I'm an ultrasound tech at Sturdy Memorial. Um, I basically scan all the soft tissue organs, check on babies, all that fun stuff. So as an ultrasound tech, you really have to think outside the box when you're looking at it, because it's a whole image on grayscale. And at first, when I first started learning about it, I was like, I don't see anything. The tech I was working with was like, oh, look at the face of the baby, the nose, the lips. And I'm like, I don't see anything. <laughs> and so ultimately, after like watching so many, I understood. Um, but you really have to think outside the box with ultrasound. It's, it's totally different than like other imaging, which is really cool. You really have to use your imagination. I've always liked art from like, it was like kindergarten. I wanted to go to school for art originally, but there's no guarantee in money in art. So I decided to do medical imaging instead, which is like a form of art as well. I just do this on the side as a hobby, as like a stress relief and all that. The thing I like about abstract art is that you have to let go. You can't really have control over it. You just have to like do it and see where the wind takes you, which is completely opposite of me because I love being in control. So this kind of artwork takes me out of my element and just gives me a whole different view of the world. And ultimately, once you let go, everything happens for a reason. So the process I did, it's called a dirty pour. So you pour the different colors into just a regular like, solo cup and you flip it onto a page. So it starts spreading out. And as it's spreading out, it has all these chemical reactions and you tilt the mixture along the page to fill up the rest of the page. And as you're doing that, you kind of have to make like a calculated move because you're like, oh, I like this part and I want to spread this part out. And halfway through, you're like, oh, I don't know how to fix this, but we'll just see where it goes. <laughs> I got into it because of social media. I started following a couple art accounts. Originally, I was into like realism. I still like to do realism, but I started watching videos on dirty pores and different abstract artists. And they got me so interested in how to do it. And there's not a lot of like literature on it or everyone just does it. And so basically you just have to like throw yourself into it and just learn from your mistakes, which is pretty cool. You learn a lot. <laughs> I just want to like make people feel and experience looking at it. They're, it's so interesting. It takes you in different places. Like this one kind of reminds me of the Arctic, but to someone else it reminds them of like a bubble bath. I don't know. It's what you make out of it, which is pretty cool. It's awesome that I can like share my artwork with everyone here and just let everyone experience the art that I like to do. And just, I don't know. <laughs>